Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some more Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. I want to stick with Pittsburgh Steelers defense in reviewing the 2023 preseason opener, a win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but of course in preseason more focused on the individual play as opposed to the team performance and outcome. Want to talk about DeMarvin Leal, second year guy, you know, got hurt his rookie year, bounced all around, outside linebacker, defensive lineman. What is he? How does he win? And my concern with Leal has always been about run defense and anchor. But against Tampa Bay, just one game, there were some promising signs against the run. We'll talk about that today. And before we get into the tape, if you guys could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support on the first all 22 video of the 2023 season focusing on in on Pittsburgh's inside linebackers. But to the tape, the Marvin Leal, number 98, the left defensive end in Pittsburgh's base 3-4 or 5-2. If you want to be a little fancy and call it that, we're going to watch this play and play it through. And you're going to see Leal be able to flow and work down the line and defeat this block at the end from the offensive lineman, the right tackle on this play and it's a nice job to use his hands at the end here he's trying to I think get his head across the block here has some difficulty initially watch him rip through with the inside arm and hand to be able to you know disengage from this block enough to make this tackle it's a really good job by Liao we can take a look from the end zone view here is Liao right here and you'll see him rip through right about there and get that arm inside to be able to come off the block get, get his head across and make the tackle. So even though he kind of lost initially, Leal did, he's able to recover, use his hands well to rip through, and then make that play. That's good technique. A little bit later in the game, watch him against number 69 of the right guard, and just get under and leverage, and just with good pad level, you're seeing here from DeMarvin Leal. And we'll look at it from a couple different angles, but I'll just kind of run this one through. You know, just staying low and with a good punch to get under and, and back up. I believe that's Cody Mock, the uh, North Dakota State Bison, who, you know, was a, a big time name in the draft and a high draft pick. And just a good job to get under his pads there and really win that leverage battle. So I'll kind of slow this one down for you guys focusing on Leal right here against the right guard. And just a nice job to shoot his hands. He's inside, he's low, and you really see him upright and leverage the right guard here to control this block doesn't make the tackle nice job here backside from elijah riley fighting in for a uh, slot corner job in pittsburgh but Liao's the one that helps widen this path for the running back and riley cleans things up we'll take a look one last view from the uh, aerial view here is Liao right here and you see him just do a great job I and mean, that is just great leverage this right tackle is along for the ride he's not engaged not in the pads of Liao. that's a really good job by Liao to win the point of attack Last clip here, and this is really good technique from DeMarvin Leal, the defensive tackle in Pittsburgh's nickel package, two down defense alignment, four linebackers, two edge rushers, and the two off-ball linebackers. He's up against the right guard on this play, and this technique is called a shrug release, as taught by defensive line coach Carl Dunbar, and you're going to see Liao pull across the blocker here, and it's just really good technique. Take on the initial combo there from the center before he climbs, and then the technique for the shrug release is you want to, you know, get into the chest, press the offensive lineman, and then pull him across your body, not towards your body, because he's then going to collide into you, and it will be tougher to get around and get off the block, but, but pull him across, and you're going to see that here. So I'll run this thing through a couple of times. The shrug release from DeMarvin Leal while keying the ball the whole way as you pull the, the, the lineman across and then find the ball, go finish and make the play. And this is just really good technique from a pad level standpoint, hand use standpoint, finding the ball, keying the ball, and then finishing the play to make the tackle on the running back. We'll take a look from a couple different angles, but just watch this shrug release. This is you know textbook stuff. You can go back in the old Minnesota Vikings tape I have from Dunbar, some of the coaching cl clinics that he's done. I'll put a link actually in the uh, description to uh, the, the clinic tape I've done on Dunbar before, and this is really good textbook shrug release. We're going to see it you know, pretty well from this, this aerial view. You're going to press the lineman, press the right guard, and then I'm going to pull him across your body right here to shrug and disengage from the block and make the tackle. We'll see if we can get one more 
uh, view out of this. We're going to see Liao right here from the other angle on the right guard. That shrug release, keying the ball the whole way, and then making the tackle. Really good technique here from DeMarvin Liao. So there it is, the shrug right here. Pull him across, key the ball the whole way, and then go make the stop. So I was really impressed with Liao's not just his play strength, but play strength is der derived not just from being the strongest dude in the weight room, but also really good technique and hand use and leverage and punch and controlling blocks. And that's hands, hips, feet. And you're seeing uh, Liao be able to do all those things. But I thought his hand use in particular was really effective in this game. So as a pass rusher, you know, he's a really good athlete. That That's the, the number one thing you think about with the Marvin Liao, the athleticism. The fact this guy is doing backflips in high school and the way he can run downfield with running backs, some of the stuff you see in practice is really off the charts. You know, you know, as a pass rusher, he's still trying to put everything together and refine his game and find some go-to moves. But I thought in the run game, there was some really promising signs here. I, I just had those questions on Leal coming out. He was that tweener at a &M. Is he an edge? Is he an interior guy? How well will he anchor, especially in Pittsburgh system that demands good interior run the fenders, and so again, the caveat, one game preseason, but against a couple of dudes like Cody Mock, a high draft pick, I was happy to see how Liel has developed. We'll watch it closely going forward, see if he can become more than an athlete as a pass rusher and become a bona fide actual true pass rusher, somebody that has a plan and hand use and can finish. Still a lot of questions there, but I was encouraged, you know, overall uh, from what I saw from DeMar DeMarvin Liel in this game. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Tons more content coming up as the Buffalo Bills game will be this Saturday. And so it's going to come up here pretty quickly. So thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you soon.